Nottinghamshire's flying start to the season is stopped in its tracks by Glamorgan's epic resistance at Cardiff. Day three delivered an impressive rearguard action from Glamorgan after they were forced to follow on. Colin Ingram the mainstay in their second inning score of 212 for five, which took them within 49 runs of Knott's first innings total of 448. The home side needed the South African to stick around on day four to have any chance of avoiding defeat. And with partner Chris Cook playing the aggressive role, Glamorgan slowly chipped away at Knott's advantage. Ingram was prepared to be patient while his partner played his shots. Just before lunch, Ingram took two off Jake Libby to post his fourth century in his last six innings. That was one of the more patient coming off 295 balls, the slowest county hundred of the season so far. Cook had played his part two and reached his 50 before the interval, which found Glamorgan 299 for five, 38 runs ahead. The partnership now worth 105, with 87 runs scored in that morning session. And Nottinghamshire's pain continued after lunch as Ingram's knock stretched towards eight hours. He'd reached his highest score in the championship, but the tea interval brought an anxious wait for his partner, Cook on 99 not out at the break. The pair had now batted through two sessions of the day and were closing in on a double century stand at tea at 383 for five. The mission to save the game was almost complete and when they'd reached 420 for five, it was. The declaration brought handshakes all round, a superb effort from this pair whose stand finally ended at 226 runs. Ingram finished on 155 not out, having batted seven minutes short of 10 hours and Cook was 113. Those hundreds for Libby and Vessels in Knott's first inning seemed a long time ago, as did Glamorgan's collapse to 187 all out first time around. The draw ended Knott's winning streak in the championship. They took 10 points from the game and Glamorgan 7.